Welcome back to another episode of Reincarnate as a Sword. The Goblin Subjugation arc is under its way. We've infiltrated the dungeon. Um, Fran is just kind of going alone though, because everybody's kind of useless. You saw in the you saw how okay, so conveniently all the really strong adventurers are just out of town. Oh, I'm sorry, the guild doesn't have anybody. We just have a bunch of fucking F Frank. Like, what was it? F Frank adventures enough or the D rank adventures up? We don't have like the really high tier adventures. Apparently there's a uh, the guild's ace is gone. We got her name. I forgot her name. Rank A, I think. And also all the top knights are also gone. It's interesting to know that there is more. I, I guess like adds depth to the world building of this current situation we're in. But Fran is probably gonna solo this. Everybody else is gonna be fucking baggage. Like we saw in the outside of the cave, everyone's just like, oh no, a goblin attack. What are we gonna do? Hey, you little cat girl, don't go in there by yourself. And then she fucking solos everybody, just helps everybody out. They're like, oh shit, okay. Fran's going in. Is it too early for her to solo a dungeon? Is it. Because I expected everyone else to go in, get fucked up, get put in danger. And then Fran comes, the hero comes late, and then saves everybody. The hero is rushing in by herself. Maybe this is her way of flexing. Maybe she's just gonna clear it before anyone even gets to the loot. And then everyone's gonna be like, holy shit. And then we rank up even more in the guild. I don't know, but let's watch today's episode. But these are still just fodder goblin that I can't really get hyped for. But there is that one dude um, at the end of previous episode. There was like a big monster. Oh, we're just keeping the goblin. That's morbid. We're just keeping goblin quotes in infinite storage. That there's like that. There's a formidable opponent in the dungeon that I'm sure I can get hyped for. Peril thought and fire jab took two magic at once. Double chance. Wait, wait, wait. It's already broke enough that Fran and Shisho can work independently and together, but Shisho can also multicast. And again, these guys are not the actual threats. They may seem pretty strong, but no, it was the other guy at the end of the episode last episode. More peril thought, double chat. So OP. So OP. I want, how many parallel thoughts can we do? Just two? Can we have like four? And just have multiple gates open? Looking like Gilgamesh? Totsukeki! What's wrong? Is it a bait? Did we fall for it? Wait, wait, the king and the queen are... Way too easy. Don't get your guard down though. No, 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 careful. Fran wanted to have some fun too. What are you? But don't you think they're taking this a little bit too casually? Wait, remember, this is a true boss. Door. This is a true boss door. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, here it is. We're getting serious now. More powerful than the boss of the mushroom. More powerful than the slime king. Okay. Okay. What rank is this monster? B rank? Maybe A rank? And if we take it out and word gets out, Fran solo like an A rank threat? We're gonna shoot through the roof in ranking. Alright, buff up, buff up. This feels like uh, in Overlord when Ayn just uses all his like buffs. <laughs> Greater. No, it, no it, it, it starts with like, uh, what is it, like, minor defense, median defense, greater defense. And just cast like 20 different buffs on himself. Usually this would be like a death flag. You better get out here alive when you start reminiscing about what's back home. Oh, curry. I don't think this show can get that dark. No, I think... They might show us some danger, but I think Fran will be okay. It's not gonna be like we walk in and Fran just like gets her arm chopped off. And then I'll be like, oh shit, okay. You got my interest. Oh, this is a crazy death like you're saying right now. Careful. I don't I think it's gonna be fine, but like that was the most cliche death flags. He can talk. Some kind of demon. It's got wings. Hello. You look pretty epic. Back at the village. Nell? And they're probably gonna talk about what kind of monster that could have spawned in the dungeon. Sure, unless something else happened and this guy got summoned. Unforeseen circumstances, just like the one that we're in right now? It's such. So you're jinxing, I mean, it's already happened. <laughs> 
They can't enter the door. They can't even help. Huh. And this is a red door, so we had to go through the red door and then the blue door. It will be fine, right? We'll be fine, right? But finally, an actual threat to us. Can we even appraise? A greater demon, level 30. 13 levels ahead of us. That's not a big deal, right? I hope not. Mm. Uh, this appraisal's kind of... Maybe we shouldn't have appraised them. I'm getting scared now. A B-rank? A B-rank monster can destroy an entire nation? I'm underestimating these ranks. I mean, she does kind of look weak. I mean, look at her. She's just a cute cat girl, but she ain't just a cute cat girl. She a sword mage. Yes, she is. There's... Who is this? The goblin that summoned? Are you the dungeon master? Also, he's the dungeon master. But he summoned. He summoned the demon, I'm sure. If we get rid of these two right now, would the dungeon be cleared without having to defeat the demon? That'd be interesting. Puny, you're puny too. So casually, yes, I killed all of your friends. Oh shoot, he's got a sword. Oh, that sword's kind of. It's not a legendary sword. We can't be facing a legendary sword already. We'll be fine. We put some mana into her sword. We'll be fine. I, I think. Wait till we use her magic. What about it? It too has mana conductivity. We need to put more mana into our sword. Would you have really snapped? Really? An Isekai main character would have snapped? Okay, it's an actual threat. This is what I've been asking the entire time. This is the uh, long range attack. Okay, D arm. Go for him right now. He's kind of flying. That's a trap. What? Wait, the sword poured it to his hand, I think. Shadow back. So I guess he could just like throw the sword and like pull it back to you. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Let's use our magic too. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That didn't actually happen. No, I said that she could get dark. No, it didn't actually happen, right? This is future side or something. No. I no, this isn't actually happening. Wait, it's actually happening. I said before we enter the dungeon, what if we just enter and... Her arm gets... Okay, we can just heal it back up. Holy shit, for a second, I was like... Oh, no. <laughs> Thank God we have healing skills like that. They wouldn't just cut off her arms that easily, but they did. Okay, okay, we're fine. The greater heal is pretty OP. Holy shit, Alex. Oh my god. But if it was truly a dark show, they would have kept the arms cut off. And then Fran would have probably, like, you know, wielded her sword through her teeth, just like how Zoro does in One Piece. It's kind of hard to fight him because he's just, like, porting everywhere. Hey, we haven't used our magic though yet. Come on, let's show him. We're sword mage. Your shadow is what's coming from. Okay, attack your shadow. Just, what, just stab your shadow, I guess? Wait, this reminds me of summertime rendering where you, you know, attack your, your shadow. Attack someone's shadow and then they die. First attack to land. Did it do anything though? How's his durability? Can he heal too? Wait, wait, wait. This one looked kind of strong. Guys, let's use our parallel thought again. Also, maybe we should go for the, you know, the core and the actual dungeon master. I don't think we've used everything that we have so far, but nothing is really working. 
We're gonna need some kind of like oh, limit break God. moments. Some kind of true shonen protagonist moment. Who says that comes to sacrifice from somebody? <laughs> what? Donadrum comes in, breaks the door open, and suddenly gets injured, and Fran goes, No! And goes Super Saiyan and kills him? Alright, we can't. Oh, <laughs> wait, we can just pour it out. <laughs> you can just run away from the boss. Because you want to evolve. It'd be cool if Fran evolved mid fight, but it's too soon. I think it's too soon. That's for the curry. Oh, God. That's just gonna say, I have to evolve, but no. It's for the curry. Well, the battle theme just changed, so maybe this is gonna be better for us. Okay, it's another putt. But it doesn't do damage on it. Huh? Can you nullify our sword mastery? Too fast to react to. Um. So I guess it's kind of just nullified our sword skill. Skill Taker? Sounds OP. Taken claim desired skills. So she's just stolen all of our... Uh, like everything? Like, like everything? <laughs> I mean, we still have our sword that we should swing around. And that's the episode. Oh shit! Okay, I, 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 the fight so far has been a little bit underwhelming because we're just taking off fodder goblins, right? And there's no really build up to it, so I, I can't really get excited for that. But finally, finally, we got some threat: a greater demon, rank B, can destroy a nation. I hope it's a little bit ranked higher so that we can get more credit when we inevitably beat him. I didn't realize I could get uh, when Fran got her arms, uh, her her hands chopped off. For a second, I was like, "Oh shit!" Maybe I spoke too soon before we entered the gate. Saying, "If this was a show that could go dark, maybe we enter and Fran gets her arm chopped off immediately." Kind of happened, but greater heal happens. Thank God! Thank God! We, I want the show to. Well, that's just like the me. That's that. I just like darker, edgier shows. But I uh, know I don't want Fran to suffer. That that's not this kind of show, right? At least they can show us that kind of threat and danger. But then also quickly reverse it. Does it cheapen the effect? Uh, you could argue, but I think it's good. Stuff. I think it's still good content. So at the end, he still he takes our. I don't know what it actually means to say you took all your soul, like your skills. Like you mean Shisho can't use anything anymore? Because it went through Fran, not technically through Shisho, but I feel like something about them being separate entities and Shisho still being able to use his powers might be the turnaround point for the fight. Or Donadron somehow breaks into here, suddenly dies, has a Krillin moment, and then Fran watches her, her instructor, her test instructor die, like, no! Pa Super Saiyan, and it takes the Degraded Demon out. Probably not. I think it's going to be the first option of Shisho clutching. But then Fran gets bailed out. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a combined effort. Anyways, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push out my final channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.